Now you may or may not have heard of cream chip beef. Growing up down here, it was kind of a staple that people brought back from World War II. It was originally a recipe in the army for the guys overseas because you could take a little bit and make a ton of food for people. And you may not have heard of it as cream chip beef, you might have heard of it as on a shingle. And I'll let you figure out what that first word is because I'm trying to keep it PG rated around here. You know, except for that bow chicka wow wow music I do every once in a while. Anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna get distracted and that's not hard to do. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, on a shingle right after this. Now, traditionally, this cream chip beef is made with dried beef because that's the way they could preserve it to ship it overseas to the soldiers. But look at the prices on this. At almost $27 a pound, I opted for some deli roast beef instead. It's the same cut of meat. And I just used a different technique to dry it out just a little bit, which I'll show you. I also don't use very many keto breads, but I haven't come up with a great bread recipe yet. And one thing I refuse to do is make some kind of bread flour that uses 86 different exotic ingredients and cost you $40 to make a loaf of bread. I'm just not gonna do it. Anyway, I'm gonna use this bread instead for this recipe. You can find it all over the place. Just go online and give it a good search. Obviously, I'd put an Amazon link if there was one, but you can't order it on Amazon. You're gonna have to find it at your grocery store, but it's not hard to find. And it's the best one I've found so far. Anyway, let's go in the kitchen and let's start making some cream chipped beef. The first thing you're gonna need for this cream chipped beef is your favorite keto bread. And I found this Lewis Healthy Life is the best one I've ever had. The next thing you're gonna need is a pound of cream cheese, or some people might call it a two pack. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area knows how to party. Anyway, two of these eight ounce packages. You're gonna need some bacon grease and you'll probably recognize this bacon grease container. It's what I collect my bacon grease in and I'll put a link down below. You just need a couple tablespoons of that. Then you're gonna need some of this roast beef. Now I used a whole pound of this roast beef just for the price point. I made it taste just like the dried beef. Then you're gonna need some bone broth or my favorite bone broth concentrate. You need a cup of bone broth or a cup of water and two teaspoons of this. The next thing you'll need is Worcestershire sauce. You'll need a tablespoon of it. Now you can leave this off if you want to, but it really brings out the flavor of that beef in this dish. But hey, if you don't like flavors, go and leave it out. The next thing you're gonna need is coarse black pepper or fine black pepper, whatever you have. Now I probably use two teaspoons, maybe even a tablespoon in there. The pepper is really an essential part of the cream chip beef. You're gonna need a little bit of nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon, do a little bit more if you want, and you'll need some onion powder. I use about a teaspoon in this. You could add a teaspoon and a half, maybe even two if you want it real oniony. And you're gonna need some salt. Make sure you taste this chip beef before you go adding a bunch of salt to it because there's some salty components in there. So I'm gonna start by making my bone broth. So I'm just gonna take a cup of water, I'm gonna squirt in, eh, couple teaspoons. I may even go a tablespoon in there because I really like the beefy flavor. Just enhances this just a little bit more. And if you opted not to use the dried beef and went with my suggestion of using the deli roast beef, you got to prepare it. One reason it's about five times as much is because it's in tiny little strips and pieces already for you and it's dried out. But hey, for this few seconds it takes me to chop this up, I think I'll just save the money. So just chop it into pieces about like that, maybe an inch wide, maybe a little bit less, and then cut it crossways as well. Just small bite-sized pieces of beef is what you want in there. But now how do we get the same flavor out of that as that dried beef? Well, let me show you. We're gonna go over to the stove. I'm gonna take my big hex clad pan. Just get the biggest pan that you have. You're gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of some good bacon grease. I mean, every good recipe starts with bacon grease, right? Well, maybe not ice cream, but I can't say for sure. I've never tried it. Buddy just heard me say bacon grease and he knows something good is about to go down. He is ready. Now I've got this pan on about a medium heat, so I'm just gonna go right in there. Once that bacon grease gets pretty warm, I'm gonna go in with that roast beef and I'm just gonna start cooking it down. It's gonna dry it out a little bit now. It's not gonna be dry like that stuff in the jar, 
but it's also not $27 a pound. If you like Southern classic recipes like this, don't miss another one. Click subscribe right there and hit the bell. Hit the all next to it so you get all the notifications. And next time I do a Southern classic video, you'll know about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this down a little more. It's probably gonna go for three, four, maybe even five minutes. But what I'm looking for is most of that moisture to evaporate out of there and cook down. Once it starts looking a little bit dry like that, I'm gonna go ahead and get that beautiful beef bone broth and pour that right in there. This is gonna add a whole lot of flavor to it. You're really gonna love it. And it's gonna be the base for the gravy for this cream chip beef. I mean, God, it is looking good already. So just give that a couple more minutes to let all those flavors get together, everything get real happy. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with that cream cheese. This is gonna be our gravy. So this is gonna melt down into that beautiful beef and that broth and be the basis for this healthy but delicious dish. Now I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but you also need to go in with two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. Hopefully you're watching this part or at least going to the recipe and trying to figure out what in the world and where in the world that heavy cream came from if you watch the beginning. But yeah, if you don't have that heavy cream in there, that's gonna be a thick old sauce for this cream chip beef, that's for sure. So just cut it up, stir it up, chunk it up the best you can until it starts looking like this. And that sauce is coming together pretty good. We still got a little ways to go We'll go ahead while this is cooking down and go ahead and get our keto bread started. Now that bread's down and so I'll go ahead and taste this and season it with a little bit of salt, not too much. Oh, I think that bread's about ready. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, we're gonna be eating good now. Now I tasted it and it needed a little bit of salt. Now we'll go in with the onion powder the nutmeg and the black pepper. And then you'll taste it again, put it right in there. But if you think it needs a little more pepper, go in with a little more pepper. I always add a little more because I like a good peppery cream chip beef or SOS or whatever it is. Then pour that good Worcestershire sauce in there if you're gonna use it. And if you don't, then hey, don't blame me when it don't have all the flavor it deserves. That Worcestershire really adds a little something something. Mix it up real good, and it's time to plate it. I'll go in hard with that keto bread, and hey, shh, don't tell anybody. I got a keto bread recipe coming up real soon. But for now, we'll do this keto sandwich bread. I'm gonna come in, the cream chip beef is ready. <laughs> I got a little bit on the plate right there. I'll leave that for Buddy for later on. And just pour this right over the top, just as much as you want. You got a ton of good protein in there. You got a ton of good fat in there. Just put as much as you want on there and you're gonna be just fine. So if you've been wanting a proper SOS or cream chip beef, but keto, here you go. Enjoy. I've got a list of all my Southern classic foods right there. So if you want some really good recipes, go watch a few of those videos and get some great ideas. I'll put another one down there for another quick and easy keto meal I think you'll love. Thanks for your likes and shares, all your comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.